Good morning, folks. Days ago, I mentioned the calm before the storm. We are approaching its end. The sun is still calm on the Earth-facing disk, with only some surface surges and some plasma filaments writhing about. The solar flaring has been low for days, barely creeping out of B range, but we do expect that to end over the next few days as the planets begin to line up in the inner heliosphere. Mercury will heliocentrically oppose Venus, Mercury will then geocentrically conjoin the Sun, and then Mercury and Venus will geocentrically conjoin. Perhaps the first uptick signal already rang out this morning, just behind the western limb. Now whether the Earth-facing spots have the juice to get firing or to complex is unknown, we'll certainly see, but some more sunspots will likely pop up in the coming days. Meanwhile, solar wind had a strong density peak last night, way above normal, however our magnetosphere was a beast and handled it just fine, merely integrating the energy into our system. The persisting negative southern coronal hole has its last bits facing Earth today. It is easily spotted looking dark down south, but you can also note the next one coming in up north. This is the positive coronal northern opening and will be Earth facing during that significant planetary geometry. Vishakaputnam called the city of destiny known as the jewel of the east coast the third largest city on the east coast of india and home to millions of people took a direct hit from the powerful cyclone there are already reports of casualties the winds were well in excess of 150 miles per hour there is significant damage to the buildings and personal property as trees became playthings in the heart of the storm it is now a flood concern sitting atop the mainland still pouring rain meanwhile the story in Japan is just getting started. Fong Fong has made landfall and will charge across the nation, but not before leaving some spectacular sights at the beach and some not-so-pleasant sights where the winds were strongest, heading directly northeast at this time. I'll point out Fei and a sister Earth spot to its northeast, which have lingered in the Atlantic while the mid-ocean ridge began having a very unusual uptick. Sound familiar? That's as many quakes in this location as we usually get in many months' time. Meanwhile, Gonzalo has formed south of Fay, but is also expected to only be a factor for the island locations offshore of the mainland. Another Earth spot rumble as an above average quake in Hawaii has set the newest tropical system on Earth on a path right towards it. Both the Joint Typhoon Warning Center and the compiled model show the storm heading for that seismic activity. Meanwhile, a tremendous convergence has formed in the central states. You know the drill. And as she'll race eastward today, the top watch zones are highlighted here. Please pay attention tonight. Down under, we've got that powerful Antarctic low drawing its convergence directly atop the largest earthquake of the last 24 hours, giggity, and where it reaches back to land, we find our expected severe weather alerts. In Europe, we've got a lot of Mediterranean energy coming north to eventually funnel into that low atop the UK, also from the Atlantic over Spain and Portugal. It will rain in the UK and to the northeast, but the storm warnings stick to the southern convergence zones. The Mobile Observatory Project comes to Richmond, Virginia tomorrow, Floyd two days after that. The place and the time can always be found at observatoryproject.com. Got some shots of our star to close. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.05 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.